happy Good Friday to everyone. Today is Friday, but it is a special Friday. And that is why it is differentiated with the word Good Friday, meaning that it is different from other Fridays. Yeah, today, unlike other Fridays, it's a Good Friday. And I know that for those who are Christians, you may know why today is called Good Friday. But however, even though this Friday is a Friday, it's a little bit different from others. It is called Good Friday, which supposedly it should be called a bad or sad Friday. So many people ask the question, why is it called Good Friday? Yeah, because this Friday is the day that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was nailed on the cross. He was crucified by bad people. We all know that Jesus Christ was a king. He was a good person. He had the good qualities, but he was crucified by bad people. Thank you for joining the show. Please, if you are connected, I will be delighted and appreciate if you write something. Let me know where you're watching from. So today, this Friday is called Good Friday. I think it is an awesome day. So, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the most adorable, the King of kings, King of the universe, King of my own life. <laughs> yeah, because I respect him. I try my best to see if I can follow his examples. But as you know, humans have their own weaknesses thank you for the likes thank you yes Geraldine I can see you I appreciate you and welcome to the live please kindly share I know it's early here but it's late where you are yeah, so today is a, a very special day to the life of Christians. Yeah, because this day is a day that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came on earth to save us from our transgressions. He came to save us from our sufferings, from our troubles. But he was crucified. But I think even before the people crucified him, he has accomplished his mission on earth, which was to teach us to live as children of God, teach us to be good examples, to love one another, to share with one another, to show love to one another, to be kind to each other, and so on and so forth. And he did all these things before he was crucified. So the question now is, why is today called Good Friday instead of Bad Friday or Sad Saturday or Sad Friday because this is the day that a great man was killed. Why should we call it Good Friday? Yeah, just as I have said before, in my opinion, I'll be sharing my own opinion. I know everyone has his own opinion and your opinion counts. In my opinion, I think that 
this day is called Good Friday. Actually, this is the paradox. This is the paradox of this day. Now, a, a paradox is something which juxtaposes another. Now, this is what brings in the greatness of this day because we call it um, Good Friday instead of Bad Friday. That is because the man, the son of man, came to the world and he's dead, he's, he's dying on this particular day, transformed everything. It transformed our lives because many things happen. When he died, he did not stay in the grave. He rose triumphantly to prove to everyone else that he was not just a normal human being like you and I, that he is different. He is a spirit. He was partially man and partially spirit. So he conquered the tomb. He conquered his enemies. He conquered sin. He conquered everything evil. So that is the reason why we call this day Good Friday, because this Friday actually proved to us that this man was different from every ordinary person. I know many people have other things to share in relation to this. You can also comment, leave your comments below. So to me, I think this is, this is the beginning. This is really an eye opening event, an eye opening situation. Because when Jesus lived on earth, he went teaching his disciples on how to live a great life. He taught his disciples on how to share with one another to love one another as if they were loving themselves. These are good lessons. And I think he's coming to earth, transform everything because the way people lived their life bef lives before the coming of Christ was really different. Okay, let me read a comment from Geraldine. Thank you, Geraldine, for your great contribution. She says, I think it's called Good Friday because he was just fulfilling the scriptures. Yeah, that is one of the reasons. It is called Good Friday because he came to earth to fulfill his father's will by teaching us the scriptures and by revealing himself to us as a spirit in form of man. Thank you so much for this contribution. So, Good Friday is a day of mourning, and at the same time, it is a day of celebration. Because those who believe in Christ, even though they mourn the departure of Christ, but they know that Christ left with us something that is never to be forgotten. He taught us how to forgive one another. Whenever someone hurts us so bitterly, but we still find it necessary to forgive them and then to continue with them. That is the lesson that Christ taught us as the descendants of the disciples, because Jesus taught the 12 disciples. Yes, when he left earth, the disciples continued, the disciples continue to do what Jesus left by teaching us, teaching other people, going to other parts and teaching people who do not know anything about Christ. And today, we know something about Christ, but we were not one of the disciples because the disciples then laid down the lessons that Jesus taught to us. So that is a continuation of Good Friday. Good Friday, People mourn around the world. Today, people celebrate it in different ways. Some Christians decide not to, uh, some Christians today decide maybe to put on black cloth. Some decide to walk along with Jesus in remembrance of his troubles. Some decide, many have done different sacrifices. Okay, thank you for the enlightening, enlightenment.
Yes, that is Geraldine. Thank you too for your contribution. Thank you so much. So we all know that when someone dies, people cry so much because they know that they are departing from that person. We have spent so much time with that person and his death means that we are no longer going to have him. But even though Jesus died, he still left with us memories of his living on earth. The lessons that he taught, the disciples that he brought, and today we still have the memories with us. I wasn't one of the disciples, but I just grew up to also hear about the stories, which I am also talking about it today. That means we are all part of this journey. Yeah, before the death of Jesus, a lot of things had happened. His temptation, he was tempted, and he went 40 days in the wilderness. 40 days in the wilderness. What is the significance of the wilderness? The wilderness is the sacrifice that Jesus went through. He rejected Satan. And we all have our own wildernesses. We have our own wilderness. Your wilderness could be the troubles you are going through every day. You are struggling to solve them, but it is so difficult. It could be your financial difficulty. It could be your wilderness could be the fact that you are single and you have been struggling to get married, but you're not finding anybody. And you think that that is the end of the world. Your wilderness could be you are already of age to get a job. You have been struggling to get a job, but a job is not forthcoming. Your wilderness, the wilderness is anything that is troubling us that we are going through. But what are you doing about your wilderness? Do you think that you have just been forgotten? No. You have to make sacrifices just like Jesus made 40 days. 40 days. And during this period, a lot of Christians fast. They fast in different ways. Some eat little, some avoid interesting things that they were doing before. That is a part of fasting. Yeah, so that is the wilderness, sharing it with Christ. The world is so wicked. And it became wicked even to the Son of God. That is our a normal life. Many people don't want to see their brother's success. Once they see someone struggling to succeed, some are jealous, some are angry. It's the same thing that happened to Christ. Yes, when he came, many thought he came to take away what other kings were supposed to have. So, they crucified him. So we thank God. And we say that in every bad situation, we can always try to find, find something positive in it. So we see that this is a situation that was so bad. But it turned out to be something positive in the lives of Christians. Because if Jesus came to earth and he didn't die, if people did not kill him, maybe it would be different. But he died and then he proved to people that he was God. By coming out of the tomb triumphantly. 
after three days. Glory to God. So guys, as you will be enjoying the Easter week, I pray you stay safe. And I wish you a very happy Easter week. Thank you.